So this is uh, something I saw on Excel as fun, or and also on Mr. Excel. It was a challenge to see, um, basically, an easy way, if it's possible, to do the following. So we're going to take Andy over here as an example. Uh, there's three categories, and here's what we want to do. So category one, two, and three. These categories correspond to what we have over here. So here we have category one. Uh, category 2, way over here, and category 3. So, we have to do this. Uh, the actual value here is 0. We have to look for that in category 1. So we have to find a 0 in here, and we want to get this number, 0 0.5. Next, we want to find a 5 in category 2, which is going to be right here, and return the value that we have to the right, and this is uh, 2. It's a little hard to see here, but that is a 2. So we find a 5 in category 2, and we, uh, the answer is 2. Ne the last one is we want to find the value of a 2 in category 3. So over here, here's category 3. We want to find a 2, which is this value, and return what's to the right, which is another 2. When we get these three numbers, the 0 0.5, which is this one, the number 2, and the number two again, we want to multiply them. So basically, 0 0.5 times two times four. Well, it's easier to go backwards. Two times two is four. Four times 0 0.5 is gonna cut it in half back to a two. So that's what we have here, a two. So the same thing for the next person. For Bill, we wanna look up a one in category one, which would be here. The answer is one. The next time we're also looking up a 1 in category 2. So we're looking for this value. And here's our answer, 0 0.5. And finally, we're looking for a 1 in category 3, which is right here. When we get those answers, we multiply them. 1 multiplied by 0 0.5 multiplied by 1. So the answer, of course, is 0 0.5. So that is the challenge. Now, I don't know of any easy way to do this uh, I think Mr. Excel did some VBA code, but what we could do is, uh, if you look over in, let me just bring back the drawing tool here. If we look in this area here, here's the category, and it's only in one place. Category, name, category name, category name. Now, if we had a long list of data, uh, it would be nice if we could repeat the category down the side. So. Here's category one, corresponding to the, what we have here. Category two, grabbing this one here, and category three. And it's a, this is a dynamic formula. The next thing we have to do is put together the category name, which is right here, with the value that we're looking for, zero, a one, or a two. Because over here, that's what we're doing. We're looking for um, certain values within the category. So it's like a double lookup. So here we're putting it together. So let me just show you how I, how I did this. Um, here's a formula that says if the 04 value equals blank, so we know that's not true, but it would be true down here. If 07, cell 07 equals a blank, then we just want to put a blank. Okay, so that, that's what gets the blanks in our data set where we have blanks here, here, and here, and here uh, because there's a blanks there as well. Uh, we don't want the values. So, um, the second part then is this. Let's take this one. If N4, so we're looking at uh, cell N4, if it's not equal to blank, then we want to get N4, else we want to get L4. L4 is the one above. So for the first one, let's take a look. We just do all this, we drag it down, and we're repeating the the column name that we have here. So look at number two. So if 09 is equal to blank and blank, that's not true. So it goes to the next if. If N8 is not equal to blank, so we see it right here. So here's N8, cell N8. It's got cat two for category two. If it's not equal to blank, then give us that value, else give us L8, which is the one above. So this is a simple way to repeat this all the way down. So step one, we're getting the category repeating, the new category repeating the third one, okay? Step two, we want to put together 
uh, L4, the category name, and the lookup value. So here, uh, over here, let me just delete this. Category 1, and we want to find a 0 for Andy. So category 1, a 0, we're putting it all together here. And I've put an underscore just to divide them. So we're taking category 1 and an underscore and the, the value in cell 04, which is a 0. So now we drag all of this down. And you can do that pretty quickly once you get used to it. Now we can just uh, do a formula that I have in here. So this was the way that it came up with, which is pretty good. I mean, you just a VLOOKUP uh, times a VLOOKUP times a VLOOKUP. Because remember, in the end, we want to get the three values and multiply them by each other. So this definitely works. But what if we had an extremely long data set going down several hundred? And we're looking, we want to have a way to just drag one formula all the way down. So this is what I did. Uh, here's our if condition. If column B, and I'm taking the values across the top. I want to take the category values, and I say equals, and I'm going to do it. So these are horizontal, but it's OK. The array understands it. Go this way. This is vertical. So it's comparing cat1 against all of these, cat2, cat3, and it's giving us true and false values. I could go in here and highlight this and press the F9 key. True and false values. Then I, I use this symbol to say I have another condition. The values from row 12, the 0, the 5, and the 2, have to be equal to the values in column O right in here. So when that's true, we have another set of uh, true-false values. When this condition is met, which means it's the true, and this condition is met, which means it's another true, here's our answer. So you put a comma, and then the answer column is column P. We're going to get the, the correct answers. So for the first one, uh, for Andy, a 0, 5, and a 2. So 0 will be 0 0.5, category 2, a 5, which is a 2, and finally the 2, which is a 2. So when I go inside of here like this, press the F9 key, what I should see, there it is, 0 0.5, a 2, and a 2. That's what's inside of my array formula. So all of this passes to the function. We're just throwing this function on, the product function, which means multiply all these numbers. That's what it's doing, everything that's inside of our array. And it gives us a 2. So I just drag this down. And now I can add as many categories as I want further down. All I have to do is change the ending part. Instead of ending at row 19, 19, and 19, just extend that as far as I need. And I can simply just drag these down further. So that is what I came up with. To uh, This would be something that you could change easily on a large data set.